where do you see the link between the EU recovery fund, the availability of an extra 750 billion if so negotiated and agreed with the European Parliament in October, and the CMU project of creating a capital market within the EU? Uh, if you look at the money uh, which is uh, in the next generation EU or in the EU budget uh, as a whole, uh, these are small sums compared uh, to the financing that is required for the recovery. These are even smaller sums uh, compared to what is uh, 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 necessary uh, for financing the greening of our economies, for digitalization, etc., etc. So uh, if we cannot harness private savings in a constructive manner, then this catalytic effect uh, of more public money, more taxpayers' money, uh, will be for nothing. For the first time, uh, there is leverage in there, which is not of a punitive nature, uh, but which has a positively incentivizing uh, function. The next generation EU could conceivably help in, in two ways. First, it could help by creating a new safe asset. And second, it could help by triggering reforms that remove the obstacles for, for the capital markets union. What the recovery package creates is a new available mode of operation and it offers a state actor that is unconstrained by the stability and growth pact and quite willing to take on debt on behalf of others. The more this mode of operation is used, the more inevitable it is that the union will need its own sources of income. Is, is there anything kind of where you see opportunities um, in linking that public funding to ways of stimulating equity markets, entrepreneurship. The recovery has to be driven by equity. Um, I think if you want growth and innovation, you can't rely on debt to deliver it. Uh, innovation requires risk and risk needs proper risk capital, not bank capital. I think the difficulty is there's a limited way in which the recovery plan as set out is angled towards the provision of equity. CMU and the recovery could work together if people see the opportunity. And governments do have some money here which they could deploy if they're bold enough and think long term enough. Well, what are your expectations uh, around this public funding and in its commitment also towards uh, sustainability? There could be better alignment between uh, what we see out of Brussels and what we see in the individual member states. Uh, so stronger harmonization also on that side would certainly be helpful uh, to have a more coherent push towards stronger green, um, to, towards a stronger green uh, transition all over Europe. What still is important that beyond the um, innovation funding to get a pilot finance, the pilot up and running, it will be important still to create a more ongoing incentive scheme. It is very important not only to have one pilot up and running, it's, all, it's very important to have, to create scale. And scale you can only get through an ongoing commitment to scale up technology, to come to cost competitiveness.